Hello one Nigerians. In this video tutorial I will show you how to use a syndicate bridge. So let's start from the beginning. So uh, first of all we need to connect to our Web3 wallet in order to start to use it. So let's do this. Connect wallet, MetaMask. Yeah, so let's select account for testing. I will select my account OT for one dollar. Yeah, so here we are, we connected on the syndicate bridge side. So first of all, I will explain you what is going on here. So here is the input section. So here we specify the amount of tokens which will bridge on the Ethereum chain. So I will use, for example, one, two, three. So one, two, three OT will be sent to Ethereum. So here on the bottom, you could see in the USD. So this is equivalent amount on the USD dollar of the provided OLT. Here it's my current balance on the one ledger network. So during this demo and testing, I'm using the Frankenstein network. It's a testnet on the one ledger and the Robsten on the Ethereum. Uh, so let's start. So before also, uh, I want you to show here the but button of add SOLT. So SOLT, it's a syndicate one ledger token. So it's represent one to one, the same token equivalent on the Ethereum network. So S prefix here, it's mean Bridget. So any next tokens, which will be using by the syndicate bridge, will use the S prefix as syndicated. So here it means that they are bridged, so they represent the same amount. But in order to have it like in my MetaMask account and don't find try to find it in the how to add it like through the other scan, here we have the simple button. Let's click on it. Yeah, so it's pro yeah, select to the Robsten network. Yeah, and here it's my add suggested tokens. Would you like to import? Yes, I would like. Yeah, let's go to the MetaMask. Yeah, and here we are. We will see the SLT token. We could see it's also already on the other scan. Yeah. So this is like our token. And by this URL, we could see only our transactions. So MetaMask automatically redirect on this. But let's get back and make already the transactions. So let's go. So transfer. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah, so we, we need first of all to get back to one ledger chain. Okay, and here we are. So we see the model for the transfer from one ledger to Ethereum. So this bridge is consists of several steps so uh, basically first of all we are showing the review so what the amount will be sent and in this like usd equivalent the fees so it included both uh, olt and what the fees will be for ethereum and the total transfer of olt amount which you will receive on the ethereum network so let's go so transfer so first transaction is going on so the first transaction is an enter so enter meaning we are entering to the bridge so when we will do this transaction uh, our like we are will lock the equivalent of the tokens which we provided on the bridge so after this we our bridge locks these tokens and not like it could not be released so it's only consists on the bridge after this, we uh, have the cosigners. So cosigners, yes, like verificators, they are responsible to prove these transactions and prevent the frauds in order to not to make some like uh, double tokens and etc. So yes, yeah, so for one ledger, it's we need to wait the one confirmation. So it's approximately like 15 seconds. So for the block, yeah. So here we are. We have signed it by cosigner the transaction. Yeah. So next we need to change to the Robsten in order to have the next step. And the latest step it's our exit function, which we will sign right now. 
So in the exit, we will uh, mean dynamically the equivalent amount of SOLT on the Ethereum network. So let's change a gas a little bit higher to make it more faster. Yeah, confirm. And let's wait. Yeah, so basically it's the same equivalent always, so it could not be like multiple times. So no, it's only one to one. So we are locking and we are receiving on the another chain. So if the token is bridged, then it's responsible for the bridge to mint and burn in the same equivalent. So as as OLT token is on Ethereum side and it's bridged for, and when we are sending from one ledger we are minting them on the Ethereum and vice versa we are burning them so I will show you this right now but before this oh, let me show you the, so yeah it's we have spent for some for the fee and I will show you yeah so this is our transaction which we have made from my account, yes, so tokens was minted on my address and we could see the total supply was increased, right? On one, two, three, I guess, yeah, one, two, three, okay, cool. And yeah, let's go and make on the another direction. So another direction, we do not need to add SOT because we will receive on the OLT. Uh, let's specify, uh, for example, 23. 23.5. 23.5. And let's send. Yeah, the same steps, but on the Ethereum, we will right now not to like lock tokens, but we will burn them. while we burn it so basically it's meaning that total supply will be decreased so this indicates tokens is, is always with a dynamic total supply and they represent the equivalent that was locked on the bridge okay so transaction was mined so we right now we are waiting for cosigners it's 12 confirmations so it's approximately uh, three minutes and yeah let's see so let's see yeah so supply was decreased here and tokens was burned okay fantastic yeah so while like it's process like to could took three minutes uh, maybe we were ready to so we could click on the resume later so it's all fine transaction will not be broken not no nothing lost and we could resume it by going like clicking here so it's like our notification bar and basically here it's all history what we are exactly doing or like what is still pending so here it was the transaction which already we are successfully sent from one ledger to ethereum and right now we are sending this equivalent amount from ethereum to one ledger so let's click on the resume and see if it's already to the exit function. <laughs> I guess maybe one minute left. Yes, so tokens we already decreased uh, and cosigners are still in progress. Basically, we could check this uh, by our transactions. Okay, so it's 11 confirmations. So let's wait a couple of seconds. Uh huh, so I guess it, it should work right now. yeah okay so we need to select to the one ledger network and confirm while 
we waiting so basically yes yeah, so here it's our address we could also change uh -huh, so transaction already completed yeah so it's automatically changed to status we are receiving on the one ledger our OLT tokens and yeah on the rob stem yeah it was decreased so fantastic yeah so okay so that's all guys thank you for your attention and have a good day